Um, the last time I was here, something uh, uh, amazing for me happened. I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, and some of y'all may already know, um, last time I was here, I filmed, and uh, during the show, uh, I made an observation about the demographics here in Toronto. <laughs> I literally came out on stage and said, hey, Provo, I looked you up on Wikipedia, 0.0004% African American. Is that even a whole brother? You know what I mean? I just, just came out. And then I went on to tell a story about how I look at race a little bit differently than most. And, uh, and it, involves, it involves going uh, literally to a hardware store and, and just uh, finding your true color. Just go in the paint section and grab a paint chip and uh, you find your true color. And uh, people from all over the world saw this clip. Uh, millions and millions of views. So I know some of y'all, if not most of y'all, if not all of y'all were part of that. So I say thank you for, <laughs> for watching it. But uh, it just got all the support. People from Germany, Australia, England, all over, sending me pictures of them holding up a paint chip next to their skin <laughs> uh, to say what color they really are. So what I need to do is confess because I told the audience that night a color that's incorrect. And <laughs> I wasn't lying, I just, I messed up. And so I need to explain what happened so you all get the explanation. Uh, and it actually goes back to uh, me doing a show several years ago in McCook, Nebraska. <laughs> the hot spot of Nebraska. <laughs> That's their actual nickname. And um, <laughs> because I'm big, I did two shows in McCook. And, uh, <laughs> So I did a Friday night show, and after the show that Friday night, I asked somebody in the audience, I was like, hey, where's your mall? Because I need something to do in the morning. And they were like, we don't have a mall. We, we got a brand new super Walmart. <laughs> and I'm telling y'all, this was like 2008. I had never been to a Walmart before, so I was giddy. I was like, finally! Because <laughs> I guess I'm a Target guy or something, you know? So I get up the next morning and I go into Super Walmart and I'm walking around and I was so disappointed. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting more. <laughs> Everything, I was like, this is normal, you know? I thought the cereal boxes would be big and everything. No, just a huge disappointment. And then I came to the hardware section and I see these paint chips and I was like, wonder what color I am. <laughs> so I grab a brown one and start putting it up on my hand. And at the same time, this tall, elderly man, I guess Walmarts have older people as greeters and all. I didn't know that, never been. This old dude comes walking up like, hey, buddy, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm just kind of seeing what color I am. And he goes, well, you're black. <laughs> And I said, well, no, actually, this card says I'm a hoot owl. <laughs> so I reached to, to pull him over just because I want to see what color he is. <laughs> but as I'm pulling and he's kind of resisting, some people come from the next aisle, a group, and you know, people in small towns all know each other, so to them, it looked like some black dude is messing with Ned. <laughs> You know, and they're coming around, so real quick, I grabbed a pink chip, and I was like, look at you, man, you're not white. You, you, you papaya smoothie, look, look at that. <laughs> and he got this look on his face, kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> and so he takes the chip, and he's like doing it himself, and then the people started to see what was going on. So, so I, I thought those chips cost money, like five, 10 cents, and he's like, no, you can take as many as you want. So I take them, so that Saturday night, I do a show, and I tell everybody, yeah, I'm not black, I'm a shade of brown, I'm hoot owl, you know, and they go crazy, hoot, 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 hoot. It was like really, 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 really. So I got on this kick where I would just go to Walmarts and Home Depots and look for nor, you know, new colors. 
And it was kind of fun to do because I came up with another color that matched me better, caramel nut. <laughs> I loved caramel nut, man. I'd imagine my mother saying, hey boy, if you don't get your caramel nut butt in this house right now. I just loved it. And then I found chocolate indulgence. <laughs> and so the night that I did my last special here, I told the people, I'm a shade of brown call and chocolate indulgence came out. <laughs> and people have been calling me chocolate indulgence everywhere I go. <laughs> Airports, stores, wherever. Hey, chocolate indulgence. I don't even know. I have to, me? Yeah. You. <laughs> but here's the thing. That's not my color. <laughs> and I'm here to confess, the color that I should have told y'all that night is the color that I really am. It's the color that I found. And, and for some reason, nine times out of 10, I would tell you this color, but the 10th time I said chocolate indulgence, but I'm just telling y'all, for the record, I know my true color. I'm a shade of brown called sumptuous spice, hello. <laughs> Doesn't that sound so much better, man? I put that on my dating websites, man. I just asked the ladies, have you ever been with a sumptuous spice man before? Y'all didn't know that the Spice Girls had a brother. Don't think twice, go sumptuous spice. I just love the fact that we are able to laugh over a skin tone with a different name than black and white. And I'm gonna leave y'all the way I left y'all the last time. Just go for fun, find a color and use that color. Put it on the census report the next time. <laughs> <laughs>